Welcome back to the channel, my name is Dean aka The Blue Crusader and in today's video I will be exploring the question, what would happen if the Yellowstone volcano erupted? Disasters, some people prepare for them, some people just dread them, but they are inevitable. Only time knows when the next natural disaster will take place and everything is a waiting game. Super volcanoes are giant volcanoes that are categorised based upon having a recorded eruption of magnitude 8, which is the highest value recorded on the VEI, also known as the Volcanic Explosivity Index. Super volcanoes form when liquid magma in the Earth's mantle emerges into the crust layer but cannot break through the layer. Pressure begins to mount up in a big pool of magma until the crust layer cannot contain such a high level of pressure. Supervolcanoes, when active, have the potential to cover vast areas of land in volcanic ash and lava, causing huge levels of destruction and health issues for those who are victims of such an event. The Yellowstone Caldera, often referred to as Yellowstone or the Yellowstone Supervolcano, is a volcanic caldera as well as a supervolcano which is located within the national park of the same name in Western America. A caldera is a large hollow type valley formation, sometimes in the likeness of a cauldron that forms after evacuation of a magma reservoir. Yellowstone's caldera itself formed sometime over the past 2.1 million years during a number of three supervolcano eruptions. The Huckleberry Ridge site erupted around 2.1 million years ago which resulted in the formation of the Island Park caldera and the Huckleberry Ridge Tuff. Another location of the site, the Mesa Falls, had an eruption 1.3 million years ago which created the tuff of the same name, as well as another caldera known as Henry's Fork. Finally, the Lava Creek site had an eruption 630,000 years ago which created the Yellowstone caldera itself and the Lava Creek tuff. Knowing this information on the history of the site, one must ask the question, what would happen if the Yellowstone volcano actually erupted? First of all, it is highly unlikely for such an event to occur for quite some time and it's not worth fear mongering over. This is because there have only been three major eruptions in the past 2.1 million years as mentioned before and there doesn't seem to be any indication of impending doom from another eruption anytime soon. However, such information could be useful to know. As aforementioned, Yellowstone supervolcano is no stranger to the aftermath and effects caused by the eruption of any other supervolcano. If the site was to erupt on a massive scale, it would cause clouds of ash from the location to fly through the air for thousands of miles across the country of America itself. The ash would cause immense damage to buildings, kill millions of crops, have a bad effect on power plants and even cause health problems with those exposed if it did not kill them. The volcanic ash, which is projected from such a volcano like the Yellowstone site itself, usually is a mix of ash splintered rock fragments and glass, which would cover the majority of the midwest of America in a blanket, burying many sites in its path such as Idaho, Colorado, Montana and Wyoming states in up to 3 feet of ash. The ash itself is the main damage source and concern for health as the lava itself, even from a giant eruption would most likely only reach length of around 40 to 50 feet and would be semi-contained close to the site, however such clouds of ash could reach great distances. Even only a few inches of this volcanic substance has the capability to kill people, animals, destroy buildings, smother plants and cause destruction of roadways, farms and more. The ash itself would also cause a serious level of respiratory problems when inhaled by victims. As for the level of health effects, it would depend whether the ash particles were fine enough to deeply breathe into the human lungs of people affected. Even health individuals would experience extreme discomfort with coughing, irritation, nasal and throat issues, difficulty breathing and more. Serious other diseases would occur from long time exposure from fine volcanic particles from the volcano's eruption. The volcano site itself is still regarded as active which means although there hasn't been a major eruption in some 600,000 years like noted before, it still has activity and the potential for an eruption sometime in the future. Beforehand I mentioned that ash clouds could be pushed thousands of miles, however they would also cover the surrounding 500 miles around the area of the site and cover this zone in up to 
10 centimeters of ash coverage. The ash and debris from the eruption would also clog rivers and streams and any other natural water sources in the affected areas. The fallout would also result in sulfur dioxide being released, which was released in 2014's Barabunga caldera eruption. Sulfur dioxide has the potential to cause bad effects on the climate due to its cooling the atmosphere through the absorption of sunlight and reflecting some of it back into space. Cooling like in this process could have effects that linger for up to 10 years with crop failures, famine and irregular rainfall patterns being results. Volcanic ash also has a bad effect on aircraft. Some of the engines of modern jets burn at a hotter level than old models, and although they can melt the ash, sometimes tiny blobs of lava or melted ash clog inside the engine and forced into other areas with lower temperatures where it solidifies. The pilots of the aircraft will then most likely lose power and apply the throttle of the engine, causing it to be even more hotter and melt more of the ash. According to figures presented by USGS, the chance of an eruption based upon the three previous eruptions at Yellowstone is around 0.00014% during on any given year. The hotspot underneath the site is also slowly moving northeast and within a long duration of time could move completely away from the site itself and result in a new volcano emerging at a different location. However, the process could take millions of years as the hot spots heat up and melt the surrounding crust. Mugs is a 